Is your old Amiga mouse on the fritz? Let's take a look at an inexpensive adapter that allows you to use a dirt cheap PS2 mouse on your Amiga. What is happening guys, Todd here. In this video I'll be taking a look at the PS2 to Amiga mouse adapter that Kevin Mount sells on eBay. Besides all sorts of retro computer goodies, Kevin sells a couple variations of his mouse adapter. He sells both a PS2 and USB version of the adapter and you can also buy them already assembled or in kit form. Something to keep in mind is that the USB version only works with USB mice that follow the PS2 protocol. Like those older mice that used to come with a green USB to PS2 adapters. Most modern mice will not work as they are 100% USB only. Either version of the adapters work with both Amiga and Atari ST computers with a change of a pair of jumpers. You can buy the kit version of the PS2 adapter for about 10 and a half UK pounds or pay a little more for an assembled board. I bought the kit version of the PS2 adapter to save a couple dollars, plus I like assembling things. In the package you'll receive all the different parts to assemble and some paperwork including assembly instructions, some adapter usage instructions, and a thank you sheet with some details about future purchases. Okay, let's assemble this adapter board. Let's start with the tools you'll need. You'll need a soldering iron, some solder, and a pair of flush cutters. Opening the parts bag, the first thing is the PCB itself. It's relatively compact measuring about 2 inches long. Next up is the main parts bag which include a PS2 connector, the 9 pin mouse port connector, the jumper blocks, and finally a single capacitor. Last up is a plastic tube that contains an 18 pin socket, and the PIC chip that contains the code that translates the PS2 mouse protocol to something your Amiga or Atari can understand. Okay, let's go ahead and build this up. Start by placing the 18 pin socket in the PCB. Make sure to line up the notch in the socket with the notch drawn on the PCB. You can go ahead and solder the connector to the board. Next up, I install the capacitor in the PCB and solder it in place. Flip off the excess length of its leads with your flush cutters. Now you want to solder in the jumper blocks. You can tell by the markings on the PCB which direction is for Amiga and which is for Atari. You can pull up the jumpers at any time to switch machine compatibility. Last part to solder is the PS2 mouse port. Line it up and push it into the PCB holes. Finish its install by soldering its leads to the board. Plug the pick chip into the socket, making sure to line up the notch in the pick chip with a notch in the socket. That completes the assembly of the PS2 to Amiga mouse adapter. Before we get to testing the adapter, I should probably mention the 9 pin connector on it. You can order with a regular 9 pin connector with a metal shell or with a slimline connector. I would suggest getting the slimline connector so it fits in the Amiga 600 and Atari ST computers. Let me show you why. I also have a Coquilino PS2 to Amiga mouse adapter. It has the regular metal shell in the end connector. While this connector fits just fine in an Amiga 500 or an Amiga 1200, it will not fit correctly in the mouse part of an Amiga 600 due to the computer's plastic case. However, the slimline connector of Kevin's adapter will fit just fine. With this adapter, you of course need a mouse. I like using these simple two-button Logitech scroll wheel mice with my Amigas. They're extremely inexpensive, costing only about six or seven dollars brand new on Amazon or eBay. Something to keep in mind is that this adapter does not support the scroll wheel. You will need to spend more for something like the Coquilino to get scroll wheel support. Let's go ahead and test it out on my Amiga 600. Movement and workbench is smooth with no lag or other oddities. Both left and right mouse buttons work correctly. just fun in games too. Mouse adapters work great with games or productivity apps. No drivers or software to install, completely plug and play. I actually have a couple of Kevin's older PS2 mice adapters and the new ones work pretty much just the same. They also work equally well on Atari computers as I use one with my 1040 STE computer. So if 
you're looking for an inexpensive way to get a better mousing experience on your Amiga or Atari computer, I recommend checking out Kevin's adapters. They are available in USB or PS2 versions and either assembled or in simple to assemble DIY kits. Well guys, that wraps it up for this one. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, consider sharing my video on social media, and don't forget to leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.